Now, have you ever heard of this Indian town called Sri Harikota? The tiny center has a special place in India's space journey. It is from here that India launches rockets into the space. But this is also a place of contrasts. Vyond Siddharth MP sends us this report from the home of India's space sport. Take a look. This is the only road in India that leads to space. Well, not literally, but almost. This is the road that is used to truck rocket parts and satellites to their final destination. We're talking about Sri Harikota, the home of India's spaceport, Satish Dhawan Space Centre. Sri Harikota is a barrier island in Andhra Pradesh, southern India, with the Bay of Bengal on one side and a vast lake on the other. Sparsely populated with hardly any urban infrastructure or settlements nearby, this is an ideal site for safely launching large orbital class rockets. Being closer to the equator also means that rockets launched from here towards the east benefit from the Earth's west-east spin. This vast barrier island spanning 43,360 acres was chosen to be India's spaceport in 1969. Thousands of rocket parts and satellites are designed, built and developed by various ISRO centers across the country and Indian industry. After the components undergo initial testing, their final destination is Sri Harikota. This is where they are all put together, tested further and then launched into space. In the 1990s when ISRO began launching its PSLV rocket, there was barely one launch a year. But today, the spaceport effectively performs one launch every month and operates four types of orbital launch vehicles. Today, we have assembly facilities, each year marked so that it can carry multiple launching uh, assembly of the vehicles can be carried out. So today, if you see, we are actually assembling three vehicles at a time in this place. And uh, all is possible because the uh, people are distributed, the technology has been made use of, so the data of the assemblies are sent back in real time and get back the feedback so that work is not held up. So this system has been brought in because we are already envisaged that along with the operational vehicles, the startups, those all, they also will come, their, their work also has to be taken up. While the spaceport itself is a mini city even today, the nearest town from the spaceport is about 25 kilometers away, so is the Sulur Petar railway station. The spaceport is about 100 kilometers north of the southern Indian metropolis of Chennai. On most days, this is a silent and remote town. But when a rocket launch is underway, this place reverberates with cheer and enthusiasm. On most days of the year, the Sri Harikota town, which is home to India's Satish Dhawan Space Center spaceport, is just like any other ordinary Indian town. But once a launch campaign or a rocket assembly starts, then this place comes really to life. What happens? Rocket parts start coming in, rocket engines come in, satellites come in, hundreds of scientists visit here. And once the rocket is ready and for liftoff, there are thousands of people visiting from far and wide to witness the magnificent launch. But once the mission is success, this place goes back to being the town that it has always been. From Sri Harikota with video journalist Chandrasekhar, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.